Hello, everybody. It's E.T.'s Babies. I am back today. I gotta go to Walmart later today, you guys. And get my glasses. Um, see if they can... The screw fell out of my darn glasses. So, I'll see if they can put the screw back in my glasses. But... I don't have too many boy clothes. <laughs> so, we are going to be changing. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, his hair. His hair. It's looking wicked. We ain't going to do nothing to it. Because I hope y'all can. I'm going to pull y'all close because I can't see me, so I don't know what y'all can see, but I'm still painting babies, and one of these babies is scaring the life out of me, I swear, <laughs> I feel like the paint job is not coming out as, well, you know what? I guess it pretty much did the same thing when it got on him. I just got to add, like, a, um, a blush to the paint. Give it some type of, like, color to it because it looks so dull. I don't know. Maybe I'm, like, overly stressing out. I probably shouldn't go back in there and paint until after I fix my glasses. Because <laughs> I'm just, I don't know if it's because I can't see clear, if it looked fuzzy or something looked wrong. But... And I ain't bring no comb. I'm so sorry, you little fuzz bucket. You little fuzz bucket. Okay, so um move some stuff out the way. I ain't even bring him no blanket in here. Uh I guess. So, no, I didn't bring anything in here for him. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try. I just spoke with my guy, and he um, said that work is kind of busy. So, I'm hoping that he get off. Um, Walmart's eye center don't close till 8. So, I'm hoping that they can fix my glasses. Because we're probably going to have to go right when... Um, Probably gonna have to go right after he get off of work to get my glasses fixed. And she told me to call back by 11. Well, it's actually after that now, I think, to check on. Um, because I have my guy bought me, like, I think last year or the year before that. I didn't have them for, I think, almost two years. Um, I got smart glasses. So. Yeah. I'm not into all that technology stuff, but he is. And he's so badly, y'all you know, with these little shoes. He so badly wanted to buy them. He got a pair himself, and then he bought me a pair. And he, he like, really wanted me to get my glasses, my medicine put in my glasses. So I'm going to have to check that out. I was so paranoid about those glasses and sending them in to somebody. I'm like, dude, they gonna break my glasses. But, <laughs> so I never got them sent in. I started worrying so bad about them breaking my glasses before I even had a chance to use them that I never sent my glasses in. And now that I need a pair of glasses, I should have probably sent them in. Cause my other pair, I gave to my cousin. I need to stop giving stuff away because I sure could use my other sets of glasses right now. So, get his little booty dressed for the day.
eventually this diaper gonna have to come off of him because it look like it's getting kind of crazy looking. Ooh, excuse me. I'm sorry about that, you guys. Okay, so. Um, let's put his little, this little thing on him. This little thing on him. You all see about this little preemie hat. He can fit most of the hats that I've ran across so far. Yep. He's my hat king. He's my hat king. Okay, y'all. Look at him. Oh, my God. He is so chadal. Such a doll. You are such a doll. You are so cute. You're just too cute. And you guys, I did. I hope he not blurred out because I really can't see. Um, I did make him some pacifiers. Ooh, I am so sorry. I keep yawning. They're not as strong as I would like them to be, but they will get replaced sooner or later. But, he got that one. I'll show you what that one looks like. On. I like this one on him, too. That one's cute, too. So, let me move my hand out the way. That's what he finna wear for today because he had that other outfit on for like over a week. Um, my high, my um, guy had COVID, you guys, over the weekend. Well, over the past week, I should say. That's, that's another reason why I haven't been on. And then uh, when he took the COVID test, it read two lines and that's positive but it read it weird it was like the line came all the way down and then it went across so i ended up taking a, a covid test and both mines came back i took two and both mines came back negative um and then he took a covid test yesterday so he was out of work for a whole week and he had to be on quarantine for a whole week um and he just went back to work today. So this is literally why I haven't been on in a while. Is because he he had COVID. And when he got over COVID, he got a minor. He caught a, like a head cold in the midst of coming out of the COVID. And then I ended up catching the... Excuse me. I ended up catching the... The you know his head cold. I didn't catch the the COVID. Thank goodness, but I caught the. I caught the um the head cold part of it. I'm not know if I'm digging this outfit he got on, but. See, we don't know if we're digging this outfit on you. But yeah, he ended up getting really sick, um, last week. But, you know, I didn't get COVID, so he didn't get the really bad case of the COVID. So that was, you know, great. I didn't want to tell my kids or my family that because they, everybody texted me when I was at the hospital and I was like, oh, Lord, no, I don't want to worry anyone and they start freaking out so i was like no no my my sister i don't want to worry her and scare her and i'm like my kids especially my daughter will freak out and have a panic attack so i'm like nope i'm not gonna say anything to nobody i'm just gonna wait out till i get better like we've been drinking theraflu been drinking tea um i got green tea and i'm talking about the hot tea not the cold tea um, 
Like I told y'all, we're, we're big tea fans. Like I love me some hot tea. I didn't start drinking hot tea, y'all, until I met my guy, though. He actually got me into warm tea. So, um, it, it yeah, it was, it's been a nice little roller coaster for last week. It really has. In there, right, my little monster. You look so cute. What's that, my hair on you? Yeah. So we'll be making, he'll be coming in the kitchen with me. I got the, um, my mama root is in my kitchen. Because I had it in here. It was in the bedroom, but then I didn't have enough space for it. So I brought it in the room. My guy finally gave in to letting me move baby furniture around the house. So it was in here. And then I moved it into the kitchen. Now from the kitchen, I think I'm going to move it into the living room once we fix the living room up. Because we've been here for about a, a year. This is our second year now. And at first we had decided that we were only going to stay here a year. So we, we didn't decorate or fix, you know, too much up. Now that we decided we're going to stay another year, I was like, okay, well, it has become my duty to do the living room. So I want to uh, decorate the living room up. So i am already been putting things aside, purchasing things that I want to put in this living room. And um, a new mama root. Yep, I'm going to buy a new mama room. Because I love the way that thing moves. If it would just keep moving and it doesn't. So um, I already talked to my guy about it. But I got to get a TV for my living room. A TV stand. And I want to get a living room set. I have a couch in there now. But it's morally like a futon couch. And that's going to go in my nursery. So yeah. I had to rearrange some things for this new year. Um, yeah. Um, I was able to get in touch with some um, mental health people for my DT classes and my CAT classes. So I'm hoping that that plans out, you know, good as well. Because um, over this past week, some severe other little things have taken place that... Um, has kind of changed my perspective on certain things in life. I have to change the filter. That's why the thing sounds like it's screaming. Um, but yeah, some 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 um, real spiritual things have come into play and really making me take an outlook on life and certain things and I am just hitting a new spiritual path in my life. I don't know how many of you all are all spiritual, but I am very spiritual. Look at my tinky pooty. Hey, hi guys. Abraham, why you gotta look bored? You look bored. He do look a little bored. But yeah, hitting a new, a new um journey in my life um, just recently has opened me up to see things in a different path. And um, Yeah, sometimes we have to go through some really harsh situations in order to see that light at the end of the tunnel that sometimes we really don't see. Or maybe sometimes we refuse to see it. But mine's, I see. <laughs> so it's some, some things I want to do. I'm going to start doing and working on. Just some more self-care things because, you know, I've been a mom to two kids and they're 22 and 21. Yes, 22 and 21. I'm still keeping up with their birthdays. And um, I dedicated a lot of my time to literally taking care of them. Like I went to PTA meetings. I went to 
any after school program, activity, family gathering thing, I went to it. If it meant mama did not have to cook and I got off of work, guess what? We going. <laughs> we going. We finna eat at school and save mama the heartache of coming in this house trying to cook something to eat. So I always, always participated in any type of school activity they had, any little thing that was going on. We participated in it. Half the time, my son didn't even want to go. My daughter was ready to go, but my son was like, can I stay home? And I'm like, no, we going. <laughs> Let's go. Your teacher is expecting us. <laughs> so, you know, it was always, um, I was always, you know, involved in the, my kids' life and the things that they were doing at school, from at home. Um, I was a neighborhood mommy, so, you know, all the kids would come to my house, get fruit snacks, use the bathroom, wash their hands, like, and I loved it. I loved it. I loved having the kids. You know, most of the kids that I've, my children have brought over when they were younger have stayed friends with my children until they became adults. So I've actually got to watch a lot of the children in our neighborhood grow up. And um, I really liked that. I was, you know, nice to be able to see them get older. I was all ecstatic when, you know, they graduated from high school and they all grown looking and. You know, it was nice, but I didn't take the time as a mother to do self-care for myself. And now that my children are living their own adult lives, I'm sitting around like a bird in a cage. Like, <laughs> I'm like, dude, what do I do? I'm so used to, you know, every every day was it was a thing or another. You know, it was always something. Um, somebody left, forgot to bring their book pack to school or somebody forgot their schoolwork. So now I got to run to the school to drop off this or, you know, the kids decided they want this for dinner tonight. So now I got to run back to the grocery store and get this, or I got to do laundry or somebody forgot to give me their gym outfit when I was doing the laundry. Now I got to go run and do the laundry again. Like I'm always running errands. And then I had, oh, I had five dogs when I was raising my kids. So you know, I walk them three times a day, so I'll take the dogs outside. And now it's just like, I told my mom, too, before they even moved out of the house, I knew I was going to feel like this. And before she had, um, you know, before she passed, I told her, I was just like, how am I going to survive with other kids being around? Because I am so involved in their life that. I don't have a life. <laughs> you know, I have to create one once they, you know, move out and have their own life. And I'm like, I used to tell my kids all the time when they were teenagers, like, dude, I'm going to come to your crib. Your house better be clean and you better have food and your dishes better be washed because I'm coming over. And they'd be laughing and stuff. And my son would be like, my mom's going to live with you forever. And I'm like, boy, <laughs> no, <laughs> you difficult. <laughs> you need your own. Which he doing pretty, he's doing really good. You know, him and his girl and. You know, his um, stepson, they're doing really good. Um, they just made it to their second anniversary, so I'm really proud of them. Sticking it out because it was getting kind of shaky at first, and I wasn't really liking that. But, you know, things happen, so I'm glad that everything is working itself out and they're doing good. Because, yeah, he was, boy, he was he was something else as a teenager. Like, literally something else. Like, pulling teeth, he was something else. But I'm glad that he's doing better. But it was just like, oh, my gosh. What am I going to do when these kids move out of my house? And I still, y'all, I still battle with it to this day. Like I said, they're, they're, they're 22 and 21. And I'm still trying to figure out what to do with myself. <laughs> So, you know, I've been doing a lot of self-help things. I've been doing a lot of meditating. Um, um, just a lot of inner self-inner peace for myself because I didn't do any of these things in my younger years. You know, I was busy raising kids. And I was focused on them and their future that I forgot that I was going to still be around <laughs> when they became adults. So like, you know, you still got to find something for you to do. So, I really want a dog, but I don't feel like I don't feel like my landlord 
charging me extra money for a dog right now. And I think my guy will have a heart attack because we just got rid of a cat. But dude, that cat was doing the most. I swear he was. I swear that cat was doing the most. The most. And I've had more than one cat before. And I don't know what it was, but he was just rising my anxiety. When I saw him on my kitchen countertops. On top of my kitchen table. Like, I don't know. I know cats do stuff like that. I'm not, like, naive to it. But I've never had a cat that would just stand there. And just, I'm screaming at it to get off the table. And it's just standing there frozen looking at me. So, I, I don't know. <laughs> that cat did something extra to my nervous system. And I had he had to go. For real, I had to tell my guy to take him back. Take him back, take him back. I could not take it. And I spent over $600 on buying toys and catnip and all type of stuff for that darn cat which I end up turning around giving to my mother-in-law she has a freaking cat dude you just want sleepy kid huh oh he just painted so beautiful beautifully he just painted so darn beautiful I probably should have kept going with the top you know what? I might even finish stress myself out about them kids on that table. I'm really not. I'll get my glasses later tonight. Tomorrow I'll relook at them. I think I know what color I can add on top of that brown, that murky looking brown. Because the brown looks very murky. And I think if I add like a purple or like a burgundy to that brown it'll give it like a tint of color because that's what i had to do with him to get his color to pop i had to add like oh oh sorry about that i had to add like um a burgundy like a pink to his skin tone so it wouldn't have that murky look to it. I don't know what is with the murky look. It really looks nasty. But I'm not stripping this boy all over again. This kit that I'm painting, Max. Nope. We just gonna add some pink and purples to his skin tone to see if I can change the shading without having to take the paint off because I'm not doing that. Oh, y'all, my eyes look like I don't get no rest. And that's literally my glasses. It keeps the sun ray from getting on my face and make my eyes look dark. <clears throat> okay. Say bye-bye, everybody. Say we leaving now. Say we leaving. You smell so freaking delicious. <clears throat> smells good. So, we're going to go say bye-bye. He's not even looking at the camera. Just rascal. All right, everyone. This is E.T.'s Babies. I am signing out. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. And remember to hit the like button. I, have, I see a lot of viewers, but not a lot of likes. Come on, everyone. Let's get that like button smacked. Smacking that like button. And remember, sharing is caring, so share my videos. This is E.T.'s Babies. I am signing out.